Hi, this is Happy Bird from HappyBirdsCraftingHaven.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful little angel for your Christmas tree. This is extremely lightweight, very easy to put together and inexpensive. So I'll show you how I did that. Now the first thing I did was I bought a bag of the silver tinsel balls. I was really looking for the white ones and I chose this size and when I measured it um, I measured it from the actual ball inside not um, from the tip of the silver but from the actual ball and it was about 20 millimeters okay so I'm going to set that aside now I did see the same place I bought the silver tinsel balls. I did see some iridescent ones and I picked them up thinking these would look nice too but between the two I really prefer the silver. I think that stands out a lot more and something to be careful about. I didn't notice it until I brought this home but the larger balls look like they were smashed during shipment um, I don't know. They look kind of flat, so be careful when you're choosing these to look carefully at the back. Okay, I'm going to set this aside. Now the next thing you're going to need is you're going to need some stiff white felt. And I picked this up at Michael's. Um, get the kind without the sticky back okay they have some with um, a label that you would that you peel back like an adhesive label don't get that just get the plain stiff white felt that's what you need I stock up on this stuff when I see it at Michael's okay and um, you're going to need a 14 millimeter acrylic pearl or an acrylic bead uh, make sure it's acrylic because they have the larger holes. If you try to use just the regular glass pearls, you probably won't be able to fit your pipe cleaner through. Probably. So, you know, purchase the acrylic pearls. And I cut this off a large strand of pearls years ago um, that was meant to be a garland on a Christmas tree. And it has served me well, and I still have. A ton left <laughs> and you're also going to need some glitter I would suggest a chunky glitter uh, I think that looks really pretty really makes it pop and these beautiful glitters that I'm using today they were sent to me by a very sweet gal by the name of Elaine and she sent me all these beautiful glitters thank you Elaine <laughs> And you'll also need cardboard to trace your wings. Now I found this wing template at NorthPoleChristmas.com and I'll give you the exact link down below in the drop down bar um, on this video as well as my blog at HappyBirdsCraftingHaven.com and then you can download your own. Um, I reduced this to, um, I think this was roughly 54 or 55 millimeters. Mm, I would say closer to 55 or 56, somewhere around there. So that's how long it is. And the height at the tallest point is about 32 millimeters. Okay? Now, I just, when I went to print this out, um, it, my computer, of course, um, it asked me, you know, do you want a full page or 5 by 7 print or three by five. I just used the nine wallet size and I printed it out and then I traced it 
on cardboard and cut it out and then I just use this cardboard to trace all of my little wings on my um, stiff felt. Okay. So the first thing you're going to want to do actually is cut out all your wings and prepare them because you're going to need drying time in between and I'm going to show you how I did this. Now these are two wings that I already prepared for angels um, but I'm going to take this plain one today and I'm going to use turbo tacky glue. Make sure it's turbo. It has more resin in it than the regular tacky glue. And I'm going to put an extremely generous amount on top of this wing here. And I'm going to make sure that I spread it out and get every corner. You want to get every single corner nothing left undone on the top. Now I only did one side of the wings. You can certainly do both sides. It would just take longer. But If that's something you'd like to do, you can certainly do that. And if you're in a real rush and you don't have time to do this at all with the wings, or wait for it to dry, you can simply take the craft foam or fun foam glitter sheet and just trace the wings on that. But I just really think that using the glitter really, really gives it an extra special touch. So I'm going to use the Sea Blue Chunky Glitter. I'm going to be very generous pouring it on. And of course I'll save the glitter that's left that I don't need to use and pour it back in here. Okay, then I'm going to take my finger and with it um, straight, I'm just going to pat up and down, up and down, up and down. I'm not going to rub, I'm just going to pat. Make sure I get all the corners. Okay. Now, I'm not going to shake the glitter off. I'm simply going to turn it upside down. Like this. Alright. And then I'm going to take my finger and push all the way around the edges. I'm not wiping it because I don't want to take off a ton of glitter. I'm just pushing as you can see. All around the edges. Pushing, pushing. Okay. So, um, There we go. All right. Now, I would leave this to dry overnight. And if you need any little touch-up areas around the sides, you can do that, of course. But leave this to cure overnight. You want it nice and stiff and dry. Okay, and once this is completely dried, 100%, you're going to come in with a Mod Podge Super Gloss. And you're going to put a thin coat on the top of the wings um, with uh, a soft paintbrush. Okay, now you're not going to use the orange label Mod Podge that's more like a, a glue. 
I'm going to use the one with a blue label. And I know you probably get tired of me telling you that over and over, but it never fails. I always get questions uh, about the Mod Podge. So this is like a gloss. That's what you're going to use. And once you put that thin coat on, you're going to allow that to dry. Um, I would allow it to dry overnight for the best results. And then the wings will turn out nice and tough. And you won't be able to rub any glitter off at all. Okay? And that's the that's the type of um, thing that you want. Nothing is worse than giving a gift with glitter on it and then having it shed all over the place. And if you use this method, it'll also make your craft shows or fundraisers, uh, the, the glitter projects that you have there, look a lot more professional. You know, they won't. The glitter won't fall off when people pick them up to look at them or and they'll be more apt to buy it. Okay, so I'm putting all this glitter back in this little bag that I didn't use. And then I'm going to take oops. I'm going to take this silver pipe cleaner. I'm just going to cut a length off. Mm, about like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just, I'm just using a length. So I'm going to slip my little pearl in. And I'm just going to take my marker use this as a guide to kind of wrap this around here and make a, a halo. And I'm going to just twist it. Right about here. Like that. Okay. Then I'm going to pull this down a little, bend the halo over, might even put a little kink in the back here. All right, you can, you can kind of adjust it if you want. Okay, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this upside down. I'm just going to bend this like that. Because I want to make like a, a little sp uh, spiral collar. See how I'm just wrapping this around? We're going to put glue on that. Okay, so now that I have this, it looks kind of like a little collar. Whoops, <laughs> wrong way. There we go. And I spend a little time adjusting the halo too. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your little iridescent ball and decide where you want to put the head. I probably want to put it right on top there. So I'm going to take my hot glue gun, put this right there. I'm going to set it right here, and I'm going to hold it for a few seconds. Like so. Okay. And if you see any of these little things that are sticking out a little too far, you can come in and give it a little bit of a trim. I know it may not bother some people. I guess I'm a little OCD on some things. 
<laughs> you don't need to cut too much. You don't want to make your little angel bald. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah. Alright, so that's, that's about it, I think, here. And so... I'm going to decide which wings to put on this one. They're both cute, aren't they? I like the pink wings. I'm going to try the pink wings. Now, you're not going to put hot glue on the back here. You're going to put a stripe of hot glue right here in the middle of the wings. Now, these are very hard and very stiff, but you can give it a slight bend like this. Not too much, but a slight bend. And you're going to take your hot glue. You're going to run a fairly generous stripe. And then you're going to want to put the angel wings just like this, where it's partially on the ball and partially on the head. Isn't that cute? Okay, so we're going to allow that to dry, and then I'm going to take a piece of string and just tie it around the halo so you can hang it on the tree. So I'm going to take my silver string and cut off a length. Going to make a loop. Ow. Sorry about that. I accidentally leaned my arm against the nozzle of my hot glue gun. Not very smart. <laughs> okay. So I'm simply going to tie this around the base of the halo, <laughs> if I can get it up. <laughs> All right. And I'll probably put a, another knot in there, two knots just to make it stick. And then, of course, up here, I'm going to make a couple of knots as well. Okay. Then I'm going to cut this off. So, and just so it won't come out, you can put um, some turbo tacky glue and then dip it in glitter at the top like I did. Or you can just use the glitter glue like the stickles here. Gives it a little shine. And that way it won't come out. And then when it dries, it'll have a little glittery ball at the top. <laughs> okay. So they're very easy to make. Very simple. Nothing fancy and with very, very few um, materials needed. So, so I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you enjoyed the little angels here watching me make them and keep your eyes open because I have lots more Christmas videos coming out one by one I'll put them out <laughs> thank you so much for watching and God bless each and every one of you you take care
，拜拜。